Gents, our RDP induction course is in progress. Uh, we continue our lectures. Today we have uh, day number two and lecture one. The main purpose of that lecture is to discuss position reference equipment. And uh, here we will highlight next uh, subjects. First of all, we are going to discuss the main DGNSS position reference system uh, principles. And then a uh, huge amount of time we are going to spend discussing the hydroacoustic position reference. Here we have uh, three main types as a long baseline system, short baseline system and super short baseline acoustic system. Then uh, we will keep our focus on mechanical systems uh, as taut wire position reference. After that uh, we have uh, to spend our time for checking what is laser based position reference system. And here we have few trademarks or few names as farm beam, size scan, spot beam. Those are different uh, producers with different uh, types of equipment on the market. But the main principle of work for that uh, equipment is the same. Okay, gents, all of you already have got used uh, and uh, know very well that uh, I always try to answer for the question where it is written, whatever we discuss here. So, uh, I would like, uh, before we start up, very important uh, chapter as position reference system is, I would like you to look through the regulations and uh, first what we here check out is the position reference system uh, in accordance with the MEC Circular 1580. This is the latest document about uh, regulations for new built DP vessels from IMO. And uh, here we have next statements. Position reference systems should be selected with due consideration to operational requirements, both with regard to restrictions caused by the money deployment and expected performance in working situations. This is a very important statement, so do not try to see all available systems which we are discussing here uh, installed at the same time on board of your vessel. For equipment uh, class 1, at least two independent position reference systems should be installed and simultaneously available to the DP control system during operation. This is very important information, please highlight it. For equipment classes 2 and 3, at least three independent position reference systems should be installed and simultaneously available to the DP control system during operation. And uh, this is why we are discussing here so many different uh, position reference equipment uh, types, because we have to cover the regulations. On board of your real vessel, it will be normal to have three systems operating on different physical principles which are simultaneously operating and providing the data for your DP equipment. Next important statement uh, from 1580. When two or more position reference systems are required, they should not all be of the same type, but based on different principles and suitable for the operating conditions. The position reference systems should produce data with adequate accuracy and repeatability for the intended DP operation. So this is the main skeleton for all our for the explanations.
we have two main groups in position reference systems. And uh, before we look through each individual system, uh, making some uh, description of it, I would like to give you a small classification of things which are in focus of discussion. So all our PRSs are belonging to two main groups. Group number one, global PRSs or global positional reference systems. Those normally can provide the coordinates and local position reference systems, which never gives you exact coordinate of object, just providing you the range and bearing or distances or any other things except exact coordinate. In global position reference system group, we have all systems which are based on DGNSS principles. So here we have DGNSS itself and uh, for example DAPS Differential Absolute and Relative Positioning System which uh, prepared for FPSO and Shattered Tanker and uh, which based on DGNSS principle as I said before. And then in Local Position Reference System group we have the Hydroacoustic PRSs which are demonstrated uh, by three main types as long baseline, short baseline and other short baseline systems. And then in that group we have mechanical based systems and among them is a towed wire presented in uh, different variations which uh, are going to be discussed later. Laser based systems one more type of equipment using another or different from the previous physical principle. And here we have few trademarks as a farm beam, size scan and sport beam system. Microwave position reference equipment which presented also with few trademarks as Artemis radar scan and radius. So gents, whatever we discuss further concerned to position reference equipment, it will be connected with this information which I am broadcasting right now. And main statement is that for equipment classes 2 and 3, at least 3 independent position reference systems should be installed and simultaneously available to the DP control system during operation. This is why we have so many different systems based on different physical principles. We need to cover the actual regulations to meet the class requirements. And for DP vessel class 2 or 3, it is normal to have three PRSs running on different physical principles.